Tom Cruise is hands down the most powerful actor in Hollywood right now and probably the most powerful actor of all time. Like anything he goes and says is gospel and every movie will bow down to his feet and kiss his toes in hopes that they can get some of that Tom Cruise glitter to shine on their studio. And recently that has just happened for the lucky goobers over at Warner Brothers because Cruise and his production company are going to be getting their very own offices on the Warner Brothers lot with the hopes that they can make original and franchise movies for Warner Brothers and have Tom Cruise star in them. Now the reason why this is kind of a big deal is because Paramount Pictures used to be his home for many years. For example, Top Gun, you know that movie that was basically Fast and Furious but in planes and was actually good? Yeah, that's a universal movie. And so is every single Mission Impossible movie and also this random movie that Tom Cruise is going to film while he is in space. Those are all universal movies. So what's the need to jump off of this hype train and join the Warner Brothers Thunderdome? Well, here's the thing. Paramount has not been doing too great over the last few years and their box office has been tanking significantly. And usually when it comes to any business, if something is going wrong and it's practically impossible to salvage anything from it, you sell or merge the company with someone else. And the studio that wants to merge with Paramount is actually Warner Brothers. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of the big daddies at WB met with Tom Cruise and told him that you might as well just set up shop here on our candy land because we're going to have Paramount under our umbrella so it doesn't make sense for you to work for them much longer. And also, we have a lot of money and you can make whatever you want. Now in terms of whether or not this is a good thing, I kind of feel like this is a good thing because first of all, this isn't an exclusive deal. Cruise is still allowed to hop from studio to studio if he wants and make movies for them. For example, like I said, he's still has so many movies for Paramount that need to be made. So that has to be done before he does anything for Warner Brothers. Or if he wants to make an Iron Man cameo in one of the Marvel movies, he can do that for like, what, $50 million for 10 seconds of screen time. But on top of that, Cruz has a huge catalog of films that he has done for Warner Brothers. And one of those movies is Edge of Tomorrow, which is a fan favorite and is long overdue for a sequel because it is one of Cruz's best action movies. And on top of that, WB said that they want to focus more on franchises and use the franchise material they already have to build this company back up to its glory days or, you know, make more money. And Realistically, when you have people like Tom Cruise stirring the pot in this cinematic jack-in-the-box, you can bet your left nutsack you're going to get good movies. Because look at who we're talking about. Tom Cruise has been studying movies before the first movie was ever even made. So Warner Brothers is in pretty good hands. However, my biggest concern is Tom Cruise and his startup. Because Cruise is technically the last actor in the entire world where people are willing to go watch one of his movies because Tom Cruise is in the movie. He's basically the last movie star. For example, nobody cares if Tom Holland is in a movie. Nobody cares if The Rock is in a movie. But if Tom Cruise is in a movie, then people will care and watch it. However, his new Mission Impossible movie bombed at the box office and it blew away in the wind like a wet fart despite it being good and Cruise being in the movie. Granted, this film came out right before Barbie and Oppenheimer, but still, the next generation of moviegoers are going to be more familiar with the characters in the movie as opposed to the actor in that movie. So we better make some cinematic heaters if he wants to make his time at Warner Brothers be worthwhile. But yeah, thanks for watching.